Hi, I'm John Changer, and over the next few minutes I'll give everyone the quick rundown on how to use the Sonobat Live Bat Capture app. To make this work, you'll need a Windows 10 device with 4GB of RAM, and preferably an i7 processor or faster. This might be certain Surface Pros, which can be obtained for as little as $350 refurbished. Next is a USB ultrasonic microphone. Some of the best ones are made by Pedersen and Binary Acoustic Technology. And finally, you'll need some bats. And you'll need to find those yourself, but that's kind of the purpose of Sonobat Live. So let's get started. When Sonobat Live launches, you will first select which microphone to use. In this case is the Pedersen M500, and just accept the default settings. There are two control tabs. This one is the recording settings, where you have the ability to create complex Guano compliant file name prefixes to fit your organization scheme. You also add custom text notes to attach to every recording. Suggested metadata forms are available, so large projects like NA BAT surveys are done consistently every time. And there's an option to save all the recordings Sonobat determines to be just noise, if desired. On the Analysis Settings tab is where you've set the region of the country you're in, the recording length, and the high-pass filter settings. We'll hit the Start button, which turns on the microphone and generates a live sketch sonogram. Two things are going on here. We can see a distinctively repeating pattern in the sketch sonogram, indicating we already have a bat in range of the microphone. We can also hear a representation of the bat calls in real time. After a recording is made, Sonobat decides if there are bat calls in the recording, and if it's a good enough quality recording, it will suggest a species. We have so much activity at this site, the display doesn't try to keep up, but all the recordings can be accessed in the History tab, where additional notes can be attached to individual files if desired. Sonobat also keeps a running tally of the species accumulated during your session, and the Bats tab contains natural history information great for showing off during interpretive programs. The majority of the live screen displays a representation of post-processed full-spectrum Bat passes, which usually appears about five seconds after the recording is complete. The real beauty of Sonobat Live isn't the real-time display. It's actually all the post-processing work that's being done while you are still in the field. Remember, you've programmed the file names and the text notes. Sonobat only records bat calls and classifies them. There are no other post-processing steps if you are willing to accept the automated results. The final step would be to review a subset of these recordings in the main Sonobat viewer programming, using its sophisticated tools to manually confirm or reject Sonobat species decisions. For more information on Sonobat, Sonobat Live, Pedersen, or Binary Acoustic Technology Microphones, please visit Bat Conservation and Management.